Before we begin the video, if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications if you dare. Do you believe in unexplained flying objects existing in our skies? Two people are driving around somewhere in the UK when one of them notices something unusual in the sky. Shortly after, they pull over, hoping to get a better look. See for yourself what follows and let us know your thoughts. Tá tremendo muito, cara. Para aí, Rafa, para aí. Caralho, velho. Caralho, velho. Puta, onde que tá agora, pô? Olha lá, olha lá. Véi do céu. Falei que eu tava vendo alguma coisa. Lá do teu lado, lá, pô. Nem, nem quatro horas ainda, velho. Dá tempo nem pra ler só e voltar pra Mauru ainda. Olha isso, velho. Olha isso. Bota puta, você não tem que ver onde o Zul vai buscar isso aqui, velho. Você não tá vendo nada aí, filho. Você tem que ver aqui na, na máquina. Ô, Rafa, tá virando, velho. Puta que pariu, velho. Ah, essa porra, essa bateria tá acabando, bicho. Caralho, velho, tá descendo, porra. Pera aí, para de ser medroso, caramba. Puta que pariu, bicho. Tá tremendo pra caralho, bicho. Deve ser caralho, eu vou saber, porra. Essa porra... Nem, nem quatro horas ainda, velho. Dá tempo nem pra ler só e voltar pra Mauru ainda. Olha isso, velho. Olha isso. Bota puta, você não tem que ver onde o Zul vai buscar isso aqui, velho. Você não tá vendo nada aí, filho. Você tem que ver aqui na, na máquina. Ô, Rafa, tá virando, velho. Puta que pariu, velho. Ah, essa porra, essa bateria tá acabando, bicho. Caralho, velho, tá descendo, porra. Pera aí, para de ser medroso, caramba. Puta que pariu, bicho. Tá tremendo pra caralho, bicho. Deve ser caralho, eu vou saber, porra. Essa porra... Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. Daniel was in the middle of filming a YouTube video for his audience, showcasing his take on some yard cleaning solutions when something rather strange happens. Daniel lives way out in the country and in this video, what Daniel can be seen doing is creating a controlled fire to burn some leaves around his yard. Little did he know that he would capture more than he bargained for. And yesterday I had something crazy happen. So as you can see, we were, I was out here just burning leaves out in the, in the woods behind our house. We live way out in the country, okay? So I got my little phone out and I'm like, I'm on Snapchat and Instagram stories. And so I hold up my phone and I do this little Instagram story and post it. So your mama told you not to play with fire, right? Well, Whoopsie! If you're not following me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, I'll leave links in the description box down below. Uh, go check that out. Anyway, so I'm on uh, Instagram and I this little video. No big deal, don't think anything about it. Stay out here in the woods, walking around. I burned several acres out here in the woods yesterday. So, it's getting dark. I'm kind of watching my fires, watching everything. I'm way out in the middle of nowhere. About 9 o'clock night, at night last night, 9.30, something like that. I get this message on Instagram from Jason over at Coghill Farm. If you don't know Jason, go check his channel out. I'll leave a link to that. Jason's an awesome guy. He's the dancing farmer. He gets out there and he's like, woo, yeah. Anyways, so he replies to my Instagram story and it says, hey, 
Uh, was that a Sasquatch in the background of your video? I was like, what? I never noticed anything. So I go back and watch it. And I'll play that for you guys. I'll play it several times, then I'll slow it down. I watch this Instagram story, and I'm like, oh, what in the heck was that? And I'm standing out in the woods, in the dark, like, way out in the middle of nowhere. And I watch this thing, and I'm like, uh, I have no idea what that was. I'll play it for you guys right here. So your mama told you not to play with fire, right? Well, whoopsie. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of fire. Oh yeah, lots of fire. So I watched it and I'm like, <laughs> that might be Sasquatch. Like, I've lived out here in the woods. I've lived in the woods for a long time. There's two things I've never seen that everyone else sees. Sasquatch, well, three, three things. Sasquatch, a mountain lion, and a black panther. Now, I really think mountain lions are, are legit around here. I've never seen one. Black panthers, no. Sasquatch, I'm not a Sasquatch believer, but standing out here in the dark and seeing something running through the woods, you saw it. You saw it, guys. You saw it on the video. Oh yeah, lots of fire. What the heck was it? Play it again. Slow it down. Seriously, what the heck was that? Oh yeah, lots of fire. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of fire. I mean, it literally looked like Sasquatch. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. I mean, I'm not scared of the dark. I was a little afraid of Sasquatch last night though. I mean, when it's dark, it's dark. Guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that little subscription box down below. We'd sure love to have you stick around and uh, ring the little bell down there so you get notifications. We do live videos and things and everyone's always saying, dang it, I missed your live video. So hit that little bell down there so you'll get a notification when we go live or post a new video. Guys, thanks for watching. Short little video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day and we'll see you on the next video. Subscribe and turn on notifications for future videos. All right, you guys, so I just got done hanging out with the bee, right? Do you believe in witches? In this next video, two people are driving around at 1am in the morning and spot something odd on the road. Any normal rational thinkers would just drive by, but of course these two have to just stop and investigate. Could this be a hoax? Is this a real encounter? Let me know your thoughts. Oh my car. In reverse. There was somebody walking in that distance. It looks really, really sketchy. I don't know who the hell would be walking over here by the bee. It's like right under that sign over there. I, let me try to zoom it in for you guys. See if you guys can see anything. No, I'm going to have to put the lights over there by the car. I'm going to try and get you guys a picture of this. But this thing is scary as hell. I have never seen no one look like this or be like this. See if you guys can see it with the light down there. Oh no, still too far. Right, I'm getting on the road here buy it and I don't see nothing still I'm gonna zoom it out where the fuck is it where did they go I don't know where they went what the fuck he's standing like under the sign over there I don't know if you guys can see that he's legit like standing under that sign right there just like right there on the side of the road what the fuck is that do you see that right there do you see that who the fuck? But they got like some weird mask or something. What the hell is that? What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Hi guys, uh, I figured I'd just do a little video here. Claustrophobia is defined as an extreme and irrational fear of confined spaces. 
This was the first thought that came to my mind when I first saw this next video. YouTuber Shwin Protocol is in the middle of checking out his basement prior to doing some potential remodeling. After doing some digging, he notices an old rugged entranceway that was enclosed. This makes you wonder what this entrance may have been used for in the past. And why is it covered up by so many layers of dirt? In my basement, it's in our furnace room, their wood stove, well, wood boiler, and then the furnace, but I uh, just dug it out. There was dirt on it and uh, covering it up. We've never opened it. So today I just dug it out, but here is the, like the steel cover that goes over it. And then there's the top. It's just a uh, cement plug type deal. Hold on, I set this down and I'll lift it out and show you. not the lightest thing. All right. Well, first off, here is this. That's how thick that is. And then, I'll show you a hole. I'm try not to drop my camera. I really don't feel like going down there. Here's that. Pipe there. That pipe right there. Now that's probably about a 13 or 15 foot drop. There's a pipe there. And then, right here, other side. And right there, you can see another one. like an old sump pump or pit or something but I don't know. never been down there just open it up like I said today first time opening it since we've lived here our house was built in uh, 1903 it's an old church actually and it was converted into a house with a upstairs and a basement kitchens in both of the floors but yeah, so, I guess I'll probably go down there eventually, but I don't know, it's kind of a small hole. So, definitely a bigger person wouldn't be able to fit down there, I can't, wouldn't even be able to fit a ladder down there though, so, not sure how to get back out, but, do it eventually. Let's see if I can Yeah, that's about it though. It's just a uh, concrete floor. I used our poker stick for the wood stove. But it's concrete floor and all the walls are, so not exactly sure what it is yet. But I figured I'd just make a quick little video. There's that, sits in just like that. And this. Well, let's set this down for a second. Right. And then that just sits down flat. That's flat with the floor. So. But anyway, yeah, I figured I'd just make a short little video like that. Show you the hole in our floor. So thanks for watching. Go! Going back to the subject of UFOs, YouTuber Wellness Weight Coach is filming a vacation video of someone doing some cliff diving. This video had to be slowed down for us to appreciate just how fast the UFO captured in the background was moving. 
in my opinion, it's very unlikely to be a bird, a plane, or other man-made objects going at those speeds. What's your opinion? Did you enjoy this video? Be sure to comment, share, like and subscribe. Thank you very very much for watching and we'll be sure to see you on the next one. Sleep well.